it is only a poor mindset that sees money as the root of all evil. Oh yes. You are the one who makes money the root of all evil, not money, because you are the one who is using the money. Money does not make itself the root of all evil. It is the hand that is using it, which is controlled by the mindset. Listen, money is an object. It does not function if you don't use it. So money is not the root of all evil. It is the person who is using it in an evil way is evil, not money. If you don't pick money and pay someone to kill someone, my dear, money will not do it by itself. Oh yes, because money is an object. Money cannot do anything without you doing it. Oh yes. If you don't use money to do evil, money will not use itself to do evil. So the user of money is the person who decides if the money should be evil or good. The word of God said that the blessings of God make it riches and added no soul, my dear. So poverty is the evil, not money. God blesses us with riches, not poverty. So if you are poor, it is not God's way. My dear, listen. Do anything to make money. As long as it's not evil. It is called determination. Determination is never a sin. The Bible never condemns determination. What the Bible condemns is desperation because that is what can lead us to do evil. Desperation. If you keep seeing money as evil, my dear, you are indirectly telling the spirit of success that you will be evil if you are privileged to be successful. Oh yes. Listen, when you lift your hand to slap someone, it is not your hand that slapped that person. It is your mindset because it is your mindset that controls your action. No evil happens without a doer. You can use money to make a negative impact and you can also use money to make a positive impact. You can use money to be a blessing to people. And you can also use money to intimidate people in an evil way. So money is never the root of all evil. It is the person who is using that money in an evil way is the root of the evil, not money. Oh yes.